Welcome in this presentation of our into speech paper entitled Ongoing Phonologization of Word Final Voicing Alternations in Two Romance Languages, Romanian and French. The authors are myself, Mathilde Dutin, as well as Adèle Jatou, Ioana Vasilescu, Laurie Lemel, and Martin Adadecker. First, what is phonologization? Phonologization is a process whereby phonetic substance becomes phonological structure. Larry Hyman proposes that it involves at least two steps. First, a universal phonetic automatic variation becomes a language-specific speaker-controlled pattern. This is what he calls phonologization per se. So in the beginning, a phone has a contextual allophone for anatomic reasons. It's easier to pronounce in a certain way in a given environment. And then the allophony becomes more or less consciously cognitively controlled by speakers. In a second stage only, the language-specific pattern becomes a legitimate phonological structured object. This is what Hyman calls phonemicization, and that's when the new phoneme is actually born in the language's inventory. Now, in Romanian and French, word final codas undergo three variation phenomena of the laryngeal feature. In both languages, we can see variable preposal final devoicing, namely when b de g is pronounced p de k before a pause. For example, when the French word robe, dress, is pronounced rop before a pause. In both languages, we can also see regressive voicelessness assimilation. That's when b de g is again pronounced p de k, but this time because it is followed by a voiceless consonant such as p, t, k, f, s, or sh. For example, when the words robe, pastel, pastel dress are pronounced robe, pastel, with a p instead of the canonical b because of the following p. Finally, in both languages, we can see regressive voicing assimilation when p de k is pronounced b de g because it is followed by a voiced obstruent such as b de g, v, z, or j, and also in Romanian by a sonorant that is voiced by default, such as m, n, l, r, y, or w. For example, in French, when the words jupe bleu, meaning blue skirt, are pronounced jupe bleu with a non-canonical b instead of the p because of the following b. The first two phenomena result in the devoicing of the coda because voiced codas such as Bedeger are not pronounced with total vibrating vocal folds anymore. While the third one results in voicing because, on the contrary, voiceless codas such as Bedeger are now pronounced with partially vibrating vocal folds. Also, the first phenomenon is what I will call here a plain neutralization because the laryngeal feature is lost before pause, much like in Russian, for example, where YouTube is pronounced YouTube. The other two phenomena are regressive assimilation phenomena, meaning that the laryngeal feature of the coda assimilates that of the following onset, voiceless if the following onset is voiceless and voiced if the following onset is voiced. Now we know that these phenomena in the languages where they are not regular originally happen under anatomical constraints. So it begs the question, could it be that these phonetic patterns are becoming phonological structure in the languages under survey here? Could we be witnessing the first step of the phonologization of these phenomena in Romanian and French? Are these three universal phonetic variations of the laryngeal feature becoming language-specific patterns in Romanian and French? To assess whether these phenomena are becoming phonologized in either or both languages, namely are in the first step of phonologization, we have to show that the universal phonetic variation is increasingly more language specific, namely that there are different degrees of variation across linguistic groups. The logic is that the more a process is phonologized in a language, the more it is cognitively controlled by speakers. And the more it is controlled by speakers, the more likely it is to be tagged as a socially marked variable and therefore avoided or sought after. In SEM, the more a process is phonologized, the less it is uniformly distributed across the language. To test this hypothesis, we will study final devoicing and regressive assimilation of the laryngeal feature according to two extralinguistic parameters, speech style and speaker gender. Are the rates of final devoicing, voiceness as assimilation, and voicing assimilation uniform between a group that speaks in a formal manner and a group that speaks in a casual manner, or between female and male speakers? If not, we would have shown that the variation in the realization of the laryngeal feature could be on the verge of phonologization. 
In the reminder of this presentation, I will first present our data and our methodology, then our results for each phenomenon, and finally I will conclude by summing up the results and discussing them. Concerning the Romanian data, it is a seven-hour corpus collected under the Quero program. It is representative of the standard variant of Romanian. The corpus is twofold as it comprises 3.5 hours of broadcast news, namely prepared formal speech gathered from several Romanian radio and television shows, and 3.5 hours of interviews, namely spontaneous formal speech gathered from televised debates recorded from the Romanian national TV channel Antena 3. In the first part, the number of speakers varies according to the broadcast channel, ranging from 3 to 24, but the corpus includes a total of 79 different speakers, while the second part includes 50 speakers. Moreover, broadcasts with significant quantities of overlapping speech and noisy background were excluded. The Romanian data comprises a total of 4,529 words, ending in a stop coda, among which 86% end in a canonical voiceless stop per de que, and 14% in a canonical voiced stop per de que. The French data comes from three different corpora of standard French. Esther was filtered to keep only approximately 40 hours of standard French. The corpus, radio broadcast news, is representative of semi-prepared or prepared formal speech, similar to the first part of the Romanian data. The two-fold corpus ETAP contains 13.5 hours of radio data and 29 hours of TV data. Those debates and interviews are representative of spontaneous formal speech, similar to the second part of the Romanian data. And finally, NCCFR contains 31 hours of face-to-face -face interactions between friends. Unfortunately, we don't have similar Romanian data at our disposal at the moment. Each corpus thus represents a different speech style, prepared formal speech with Esther, spontaneous formal speech with ETAP, and casual speech with NCCFR. Of all the tokens ending in a stop coda, we first removed all codas followed by a schwa, since it has been shown that the realization of word final schwa blocks adjacency effects. In total, the French data displayed 58,893 tokens, among which 81% end in a canonical voiceless stop such as Bodegue and 19% in a canonical voiced stop such as Bodegue. Since dozens of hours of speech cannot be segmented by hand, we used automatic forced alignment with pronunciation variants. The manually transcribed corpora are fed to the software that has access on the one hand to acoustic models for each phone for each language, and on the other hand, to a pronunciation dictionary for each language in which variants may be stored, such as, for example, the canonical and non-canonical pronunciations robe and rop for the word dress in French. Then the system selects the most probable variant given the actual acoustic realization in the audio files. Thus, during alignment, voicing and devoicing are decided according to which one of the voiced or voiceless phone models best corresponds to speaker's production. For any occurrence of Bödege, its voiceless counterpart may be selected by the system if the acoustic realization of the consonant best matches the corresponding model. For example, the Romanian word dialogue can be transcribed either as canonical dialogue or as non-canonical dialogue and the French word dialogue can be transcribed either as dialogue or as dialogue. And conversely, for any occurrence of peteke, for example, the Romanian word group can be transcribed either as group or as group, and the French group either as group or as group. In the end, to observe final devoicing, we analyzed the realizations of codas before pause, 65 tokens in Romanian, 710 in French, to observe voicelessness assimilation, we analyzed the realizations of codas before voiceless obstruents, 251 tokens in Romanian and 2,908 in French. And to observe voicing assimilation, we analyzed the realizations of codas before both voiced obstruents and sonorants in Romanian, namely 1,139 tokens, and before voiced obstruents only in French, which corresponds to 8,741 tokens. This data will thus allow us to observe neutralization and assimilation rates according to two parameters, speech style and gender of the speaker. I will now present to you our results for final devoicing first, then for voicelessness assimilation, and finally for voicing assimilation. Concerning our 65 tokens in Romanian and 710 tokens in French ending in a voiced stop and appearing before pause, therefore risking final devoicing, it is notable that 67% of Romanian codas and 48% of French codas are actually devoiced. 
The question now is to know whether these numbers depend on speech style and or speaker gender. Remember that our data covers several speech styles. Formal prepared and formal spontaneous speech in Romanian and formal prepared, formal spontaneous and casual speech in French. As one can see from the figure, the 10% difference between speech styles in Romanian is noticeable but not significant, while the 22% difference in French is both much higher and significant. However, we should note that the main difference in French is between casual and CCFR on the one hand and formal etap and ester on the other. Had we had data of casual speech in Romanian, it is possible that we would have found a similar discrepancy between speech styles in this language too. Concerning speaker gender, several studies tend to show that there are many linguistic differences between female and male speakers. We thus hypothesize that if final devoicing is cognitively controlled and socially marked, female and male speakers would display various rates of non-canonical realizations. On the contrary, the less discrepancy between the two genders, the less phonologized the process. As one can see from our figure, the 10% difference between genders is again noticeable in Romanian but not significant, while the 10% difference in French is statistically significant. Again, since this kind of discrepancy is essentially visible in casual speech, we might have had a statistically significant result in Romanian if we had had data similar to NCCFR in this language too. Note, however, that the figure raises an interesting point. Final devoicing tends to be avoided by women in Romanian but by men in French, as if it didn't have the same social tagging in both languages. To conclude on final devoicing, we can say that it is extremely frequent in both languages and that important differences between speech styles and genders can be observed in both languages. These results are significant only for French, but they are strong indications for Romanian too. According to our hypothesis, these results would mean that final devoicing is partially controlled by speakers and therefore potentially on its way to phonologization. Concerning voicelessness assimilation, out of the 251 Romanian tokens and 2,908 French tokens with a voiced coda followed by a voiceless onset, 80% are devoiced in Romanian and 53% in French. Since the devoicing rates are again very impressive, it begs the question, is it a universal tendency or is it dependent on speech style and gender? Results show that the difference between speech size is very small in Romanian with only 4%. Once again, this result is not significant, but it is also not surprising since Romanian coders are generally more devoiced before voiceless obstruence than before pause, which might mean that voicelessness assimilation is more generalized, more universal than final devoicing, and therefore may be less prone to phonologization. In French, however, the significant 17% difference is impressive and might indicate that this phenomenon is on the verge of phonologization too. Concerning speaker gender, however, the differences are very low and not significant in any of the two languages. To conclude on voicelessness assimilation, we can say that it happens more in French and much more in Romanian than final devoicing, which means that it is maybe less prone to phonologization. This is confirmed by the fact that almost no difference across speech styles or genders was found except for the effect of speech style in French, which is still smaller than that observed for final devoicing though. This means that voicelessness assimilation is more uniform across speaking groups than final devoicing and thus that it is probably not on the verge of phonologization. Finally, concerning the 1,139 Romanian tokens and 8,741 French tokens, ending in a voiceless pertoque and followed by a voiced consonant, 36% are voiced in Romanian and 76% in French. Note that the two devoicing phenomena are more present than the voicing one in Romanian, but vice versa in French. Concerning speech style, the differences are very low in both languages, but it is a little more important for French. It is also significant only in that language. However, the results for French are surprising because the speech style favoring voicing assimilation the most is spontaneous formal etap when it would have been expected rather in, say, NCCFR. This might be explained by the more heterogeneous recording conditions of the corpus. Concerning speaker gender, the 8% difference between female and male speakers in Romanian is noticeable, although not impressive, but significant. In French, the 4% difference is smaller, but statistically significant. 
To conclude on voicing assimilation, it appears to be similar to voicelessness assimilation in both languages in that it shows very little variation between speech styles and genders, except maybe for a noticeable statistically significant difference across genders in Romanian, which can't be confirmed by the mitigated non-significant results on speech styles. We conclude that voicing assimilation is probably not on the verge of phonologization in either language, or at least it wasn't shown here. To sum up, this study presented a detailed analysis of one plain neutralization process, final devoicing, and two assimilation processes, voicelessness assimilation and voicing assimilation. The aim was to investigate their degree of phonologization based on large corpora and ASR systems. Romanian favors the two devoicing phenomena over the voicing one, whereas French favors the voicing phenomenon over the two devoicing ones. However, whether the process results in a voiced or voiceless coda does not seem to be at play in which phenomena are phonologizing or not. In both languages, final devoicing is more dependent on speech style and gender than the regressive assimilation processes. The impressive difference between speech style for voicelessness assimilation in French can be attenuated by the very small difference across genders, even though the latter is not significant. Similarly, the noticeable difference between genders for voicing assimilation in Romanian can be weighed down by the almost non-existent difference between speech styles, even though it is again not significant. This study opens several new research questions. Further studies should help establish first why the two phonetic phenomena, which should be universal, are present at very different rates in each language. It should also investigate how advanced non-canonical voicing and devoicing are in both languages, in other positions in the word, whether Romanian and French are at the same stage of phonologization for other variational patterns, and whether other related or non-related languages follow a similar path. Thank you all for taking the time to listen to this presentation. All my co-authors and myself are eager to answer the questions you might have or to discuss the issues presented here in the comments. Have a nice day.